booty ass. Your snake killed my mouse. I mean, your rat killed my mouse. My rat killed your mouse? Yeah. Why? <clears throat> I don't know. I threw some green peppers in there. I grabbed their little bed thing. And he was dead. But like, not super dead. But he was, he was fresh, but he was dead. <clears throat> and I only knew because she hopped right out of the little thing they were in. And I felt a lump in there still. I was like, no, fucking hey. And I shook it, and he plopped out while I grabbed him, and he wasn't stiff yet. So I was like, well, fuck, what do I do? <clears throat> but he was acting weird this morning. He only peeked the very end of his head out of the thing. I thought he would be fine by the night, though, because I just... Well, he wasn't eating or drinking or something, or did he look like he was injured? Um, he had two black marks right here. But they were black. It's not like they were bloody or nothing. Come, I mean, you could look at him. He, no, he looked pretty fat. It really sucks, I'm sorry. It's upsetting because I was trying to keep him. But you could see where his ears have been chewed on. <clears throat> but at least now I could just get a male rat and try to breed the rats instead. It could have been. The weird thing is that, you know, I'm assuming that the rat killed him because he's been fine forever till we put the rat in there. But um, the weird thing is they were both in the same little bed. But they, the Google said that rats will try to eat mice. <clears throat> so I don't know if she was saving him maybe to try to eat him. But the, it's fucked up because I've been. Buy a rat? Yeah, it's a rat. It was a small rat though, not a large rat, so I didn't think it'd be a problem because they're almost the same size. I wondered why she was the color that she was. She was the same color as the normal rats, but we put big rats in there and... And nothing happened. And nothing I think it's a little bit cuter. The rats are cuter. They're way nicer. He was just cool. I had made myself the promise that I was not going to let him die. <clears throat> but as, since he was fresh and everything, I was like, well, I might as well try to feed him to this snake. Because this snake's been being a cunt. And then it ate. He took him. Yeah. He, that's the thing. Is he's picking. So you can't keep giving him live ones unless you're going to continue to always give him live ones. I think it might be the smell. I think because this one was dead though. Yeah, but the other ones I soaked them in water for twenty to thirty minutes. You probably fucked up the smell. I now. think I take the smell right off of them because sometimes I can get them to eat if I throw the dead one in the um, substrate. If I move it around in the rat stuff, mm -hmm. <clears throat> he'll smell them and take them. Which I'm kind of worried. I hope it wasn't a disease that killed this one.
I know that the big or the ball pythons also they'll develop specific taste. And since I started feeding rats, he's been giving me problems. But when I was strictly doing mice, he never gave me an issue. But it's not wise to feed one so big mice because I'd have to either double up or try to get the largest mouse I could possibly get. But they don't get very big. And the rats have way more nutrients and stuff in them. I think they put them out here so we could do the eggs for the kids. She asked if we got candy earlier, and I was like, no, we we didn't buy any candy. My videos are such terrible quality, I'm surprised people watch them. Does Paige's camera record? I think so. And it goes directly to her phone. Mm 